Hi. Hey, you're just in time because the play is just about to begin. <laughs> understand what she's saying. She's speaking Spanish, bird. Oh, but what's she saying? Well, um, I will now sing the same thing you know, but in English. 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 Yes, oh, thank no. you. Right. I am something that's called a tortilla. And you cook me on the burner of a stove. <laughs> The Spanish word for tortilla is tortilla. 
<laughs> Two languages in one show. Isn't that something, Bird? Yeah. Ah. Great, huh? Yeah, Rosita was a great tortilla. Okay, mm -hmm. telling you next. Hey, what's wrong? I don't feel like an asparagus, Gabby. I'm just a monster in an asparagus suit. I need to feel the part. Well, why not try thinking about what asparagus tastes like? That's my problem. I've never tasted asparagus. I have no motivation. How can I pretend to be an asparagus if I don't know what an asparagus tastes like. Um, Miles, does Alan have any asparagus? Yeah, he makes the best asparagus salad. Okay, here you go. Got it? Mm. It's good. <laughs> it's very good. I have eaten asparagus. I understand asparagus. I will now be the asparagus. Point me to the stage. This way. Ready? Meet the vegetable that's called asparagus. <laughs> We're easy to eat with no muss and no fuss. No fuss. <laughs> so tasty and chewy and shaped like a spear. Have some asparagus and let out a cheer. Yeah! Asparagus, asparagus, oh yeah. Thank you from the bottom of my Little Roots. <laughs> Thanks, Perry. <laughs> okay, Elmo, you're next. Where's your broccoli costume? Oh, well, Elmo hasn't put it on yet, Gabby. Okay, well, we better hurry, because you're on soon, okay? Where is it? Well, it's in a brown paper bag. Where'd you put it? Um, oh, Elmo doesn't know. Oh, no! Oh, well, where's, where's Elmo's broccoli costume? Um, yes! Uh, Did you see that? that I am the yeah. asparagus. Yes! Hey, quick, everybody, everybody, we need your help. We need to find Elmo's costume. It's in a brown paper bag. Brown oh, all right. Paper. Yeah. Paper. Oh, got it. Okay. I don't know where to look. Brown paper bag. Oh, no. Elmo can't be a broccoli without a costume. <laughs> now, here is a vegetable that looks like a tree. Oh, it is my favorite. Did you bring it with you? Um, yeah. <laughs> Elmo left Elmo's house holding a bag. <laughs> then what did you do? Elmo's thinking, thinking. <laughs> then Elmo went by Oscar's can. <laughs> Elmo showed Oscar the broccoli costume, and yeah. Oscar said scram. <laughs> then what did you do? Well, Elmo's trying to remember, Gabby. Hmm. <laughs> oh, then to say hi to Prairie Dawn at the piano. And then Elmo asked Prairie to watch Elmo's bath so Elmo could go to the bathroom. Wait, 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 wait. Elmo remembers where. Elmo remembers where, Gabby. <laughs> Elmo! Anybody see that? Oh, there you are. Elmo, what are you doing? You're supposed to be on stage. Oh, well, thanks for watching Elmo's costume, Prairie. Watching your, your costume? Wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't know your costume was in the... Oh, dear. Hmm. There's been a delay, but please do not worry. Elmo the broccoli had just banter. Hurry! Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Elmo's yeah. ready, Prairie. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Chat full of minerals and vitamin B. Elmo grew in the ground and he's called broccoli. You can eat broccoli any way that you please. Elmo likes it cooked and covered with cheese. Oh, yeah. 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 Very nice, everybody. 
I say A can sound like A for apple Or a whole nother way A It starts ape It starts age Age is where it's at The letter A is tearing up the stage Ow! After me! That's A A soul A You all know, underneath the ground I grow Orange, white, also blue All these colors, it is true You can eat me many ways Mashed or boiled on different days Scallops stuffed or just plain baked I'm the one you love to taste Potatoes We interrupt this groaning To bring you a fast-breaking nursery rhyme story Hurry down! We have just found out that Jet Be Nimble is having trouble jumping over the candlestick. What seems to be the problem, Jet Be Nimble? I'm too tired. What? Too tired? But you're not supposed to be tired. The nursery rhyme says, Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Quick, Jack Jump Over the Candlestick. Oh, yeah? Well, Jack Be Tired. Jack be slow, so back to bed, Jack must go. Back to bed? But, 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 Jack, Jack, <sighs> you cannot go back to bed, Jack be nimble. Nursery rhyme readers everywhere are depending on you. Come on, Jack be nimble. Jack be quick, please jump over that candlestick. I can't. I do not have the energy. What? You do not have the energy to jump over a candlestick? Come on, what did you have for breakfast this morning, Jack Be Nimble? Breakfast? What's breakfast? Well, only the most important meal of the day. You need to eat a healthy breakfast. It'll give you energy to do the things you want to do, like jumping over candlesticks. Really? Mm hmm Hey, Mom Be Nimble! Mom Be Nimble! <laughs> Yes, Jack be nimble. Mom be nimble, mom be quick. Please give me breakfast. Get on the stick. Coming right up. Here you go, Jackie darling. Cereal, milk, and whole wheat toast. Ooh. Mm. Mm, thanks, Mom. Now that's what I call a healthy breakfast. Wow! Oh. Now I have oh. lots of energy. Thanks, Mother Mead Nimble. You're welcome. So, now you're ready to jump over the candlestick? Yes, I could jump over two candlesticks. Well, we just have the one. Then I'll jump over you. <gasps> Me? Jack be nimble, Jack be strong. Jack jump over Prairie Dawn. What? Wee! Ah! Ah! Is it Prairie Dawn? Or nursery rhyme no Jack? Good jumping, but cut that out. Ah! Ah! Energy. 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 What is energy? What is energy? Energy is what keeps you going. Guy, healthy foods have energy. Everybody needs a different kind of fuel. I need a banana for energy. A car needs gas for energy. A horse needs hay. Bird needs a delicious worm. <laughs> but when you don't eat foods that are good for you, you don't have any energy. If you don't get 
the kind of fuel that's right for you. You just won't run. That's true for a car, a horse, a bird, and for me. friend Antonio and he just told me he loves to do a split. Let me see you do it Antonio. Go right, to it. All right, I can do two splits. Two splits? Whoa! And let's see the other one. Wow! <laughs> oh, come on back Antonio. That's my friend Antonio. He does exercise and he does a split. Hi there. This is Farmer Ernie. I bet you're wondering, what's a city kid like me doing on a farm like this? Well, I'll tell you. I came to the farm to see how things grow, and I learned some things I didn't know. Plants can grow high, plants can grow low. Some grow above the ground, and some grow below. For instance, a tomato doesn't grow like a potato. Tomatoes push and shove together. Meanwhile, a potato doesn't grow like a tomato. Potatoes never show, we stay down below. Plants, Plants can grow high, Plants, Plants can grow low. Some grow above the ground, and some grow below. Now, if you want a lettuce, I can tell you where to get us. We always can be found right above the ground. Look high for a zucchini, because they're never very teeny. But if you want a beet, look under your feet. Plants can grow high, plants can grow low. Some grow above the ground, and some grow below. Maybe next time you'll see something you'll know. If it grow above the ground, or it grow below. Hmm, I wonder where cilantro grows. And then there's parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Sorry, Ernie, we're out of time. Oh. <laughs>
hello in French. I just came all the way back across the ocean and the Triborough Bridge from Paris. Mm -hmm. That is a city in France where they speak French. Oui, oui. My friend Leah gave me this cute little shopping basket. Is it not adorable? Ah, uh, I'm going to fill it up with vegetables and fruit and cheese and bread, just like they do in France, and then bring it home to Grandma. Oh, she will be so proud. Oh la la, here come some vegetables and fruit and cheese and bread now. Mm, my, you look delicious. Okay, Broccoli, come on, into the basket. No way. Come on, Broccoli, I just want to put you into the basket and take you home to Grandmama. Forget about it. How about you, Apple? Up and at them. Absolutely not. Um, pardon me. Excuse me, cheese? In your dreams, buddy! Don't even look at me. I'm not putting one breadcrumb in there. <laughs> but this is how it is done in France! The fruit and the vegetables and the bread and the cheese all go into the basket! No! Yes! If you do not believe me, just watch this. Wow! Yeah. Right there. Oh! My name is Léa, and I live in Paris, the biggest city in France. Some people say the city is beautiful. It's nice. I like it. Every Saturday, I go to the farmer's market with my dad. It's called Le Marché. My dad likes to get the fruits and vegetables first. Cerise. Courgette. And haricots verts. Mm. Then we get meat. We also get a chicken, a poulet. Sometimes my dad buys fish, but not today. We always get cheese. Du fromage. We eat it at the end of dinner. My favorite of all is when we go to the bakery, la boulangerie. Usually, we just get bread. But today is a special day, so we're going to get pastries. C'est bon. Because today, my grand-mère is coming to visit us. She lives near us. It's fun when she visits. I love her. See? What did I tell you? All the food goes into the basket. Maybe they do not understand. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. You see? Ah, I am in the basket like so. Oh, oh look at that. I don't see. What? That's French for, let's go, let's go! Come on, Apple, on the team! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. where are we going? We're going home to Grandma's. <laughs> Grandma's? Wait, wait, wait! What? I think I am what you would call a basket case. That's right, move it! Jack Spratt could eat no fat. His wife could eat no lean. And so between them both, they licked the platter clean. To your health, to your health. Hello there, it is I, Count Von Count. In the tire swing is my friend, Gitsani. Hello, Count. Hi, and Michael is the tire swing pusher. Hello. Hi, Michael. Yes, we're going to see if Gitsani can swing 13 times. That is the number of the day. Can she do it? Let's find out. I'm a pushover for these counting questions. Ready? Ready. Okay, then let's get into the swing of things. You count two. Here we go. One, two swings, three swings, four swings, five swings, six swings, seven swings, eight swings, Nine swings, doing admirably. Ten swings, eleven swings, twelve swings. 
swings. 13 swings. She did it. That's 13 swings. Yes. Wonderful. Fantastic. The number of the day. Very good work. Yes. <laughs> I'm proud of them.
Yeah. Oh, see? Elmo has skin. It's right under his fur. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And sometimes Elmo's skin itches. Oh, oh. oh dear. Better. <laughs> oh. What's that, Dorothy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dorothy wants to know, what do you do when the skin on your back itches? Oh, good question, Dorothy. Let's ask Mr. Noodle. Mr. Noodle! <laughs> oh, hey, Shade. A little help, please. Oh, thank you, Shade. Oh, oh, there you are, Mr. Noodle. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Noodle, slap Elmo some skin. What do you do? No, that's your head. On your back. Your back, you know. Mr. Noodle has to itch his back. On his back. Yeah, back there. Mr. Noodle can't reach his back. You can't reach your back like that. Be careful, Mr. Noodle. Now he's dizzy. See, now he's itchy and dizzy. Don't give up. He needs something. Maybe there's something you can do to scratch your back, Mr. Noodle. He's on the floor. He's scratching his back on the floor. Look at him go. I don't think it's working. You need help. Get somebody to help you. Elmo can help you. Yeah, Elmo will scratch Mr. Noodle's back. <laughs> okay, yeah, turn around. Okay. How's that, right there? That's it. Right between the shoulder blades? Right there. Okay. Aww. Yay, Mr. Oh, Noodle. Yay. Elmo, help Mr. Noodle. Elmo, help Mr. Noodle, and Elmo scratched his back. <laughs> oh, hug? Okay. <laughs> He's scratching Elmo's back. <laughs> Mr. Noodle. <laughs> Wait, now what? Mr. Oh, Noodle. <laughs> oh, poor itchy, itchy Mr. Noodle. <laughs> What's that, Dorothy? Oh, okay. Dorothy wants to ask someone else. What do you do when the skin on your back itches? Dorothy, when my back itches, I scratch it with this, a back scratcher. Ah. <sighs> when the skin on my back itches, I like to rub it against a tree, Dorothy, like this. That feels good. Dorothy, when any eyeballs have itchy backs, we take turns scratching each other's back. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. Thanks, everybody. Oh, and thank you too, Dorothy. Now, Emma will ask a baby. Do -do -do -do. Oh, hello, baby. <laughs> baby, what do you do when the skin on your back itches? <laughs> Oh, thank you, baby. Kiss, 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 kiss. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, that baby was so cute. Ah, and now Elmo has a question for oh, 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 you. Yeah, you. How many goosebumps are on this chilly hippo skin? Let's count them and find out. One. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine goosebumps. Oh, and one, one chili goose. Oh, that tickles on my skin. Boy, you silly chili goose. Bye, goose. Bye, hippo. Hmm. That makes Elmo wonder. What else tickles your skin? Let's find out. Oh, drawer! <laughs> Open up drawer, please. <laughs> Maybe Elmo can tickle drawer to open. <laughs> Is drawer ticklish? Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> can a cupcake tickle your skin? No. But it can make your skin messy. Yum, yum. <laughs> Can a ladybug tickle your skin? Yes, it tickles when it crawls on your skin. 
That's right. Can a feather tickle your skin? Yes, feathers tickle your skin. Unless you're a bird. My skin is covered with feathers, and they don't tickle me at all. They just need to be fluffed now and then. <laughs> fluff, fluff. <laughs> Fluff, 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 fluff. <laughs> That's more. <laughs> and now... Elmo has mail. Oh, Elmo, Elmo has, has mail. email. Yay. Elmo oh, has computer, mail. come back here. Mail. Computer Elmo stop. has mail. Oh. Elmo has mail. Oh. Elmo has mail. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's, it's Elmo's friend Ernie. Hi there, Elmo. Hey, Elmo, did you know that your skin helps you feel things? Well, that's why I'm wearing this blindfold. You see, I'm going to feel something with the skin on my hands, and then I'm going to guess what that is without even looking. Now, now, watch this. Um, um, let me, let me see. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. There, there's something now. Gee, I wonder what this could be. Arnie. No, 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 don't tell me, Bert. Don't tell me. Uh, <sighs> this feels kind of soft and fluffy-like. And it's sticking straight up like a shaggy rug. No, Ernie, you're touching. No, 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 no. Don't, don't tell me, Bird. Don't tell me. I want to guess this. Now, now, now. Let's see. Moving down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more. There's so much more. Look at this. And this kind of feels roundish, and it's sort of, sort of squishy like. And it's like a bath sponge. Yes, yes. I don't believe this. And let's see. Uh, moving on down. Oh, wait. This is interesting. Look at this. And this part's kind of smooth and it feels sort of thin, and, wow, it's, it's floppy. It's floppy like a garden hose. <gasps> Gee, that's interesting. Wait a second. Hmm. Uh, let me see here. Now, wait a minute. This right here is sort of fluffy and, and, and shaggy like a rug, and this is sort of squishy, sort of squishy right. like a bath sponge, and this kind of floppy like a garden hose. I know what this is. This is Bert. Ah! It's you, Bert, is it? Bert? Yes, Bert. it's me, Arnie. Bert. Who do you think it is? Oh, I knew it, Bert. I could tell because I could tell by feeling with my skin. Isn't that amazing, Bert? Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Whatever. Yes. yes. I'm going to go read in the bathroom. Well, but. <sighs> you, uh, well, uh, 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 so long, Elmo. Uh, hey, Bert. I, I didn't even know you wore a rug. Bert? Oh, Bert. <laughs> Computer. Boy, Elmo loves finding out about skin. Elmo's friend, Elaine, learned all about skin in school, and she told Elmo all about it. One day at school, my teacher, Mrs. Michelson, asked our class what we could learn by looking at our skin. So we started to investigate. We could see that everybody's skin looked different. There was dark skin, light skin, and all different shades in between. My skin was dark, and Cassie had light skin with rosy cheeks. Then we looked at her skin through a magnifying glass. It makes things look bigger. We could see all sorts of things we never noticed before. There was hair growing out of our skin. And the front of our arms had more hair than the back of our arms. But the palms of our hands didn't have any hair at all. But they had lots of lines. So did the tips of our fingers. Some parts of our skin were smooth, like our cheeks. Some parts were real wrinkly, like our knuckles and elbows. Then we ran some water on our arms to see what our skin looked like when it was wet. The water didn't soak in, it just rolled right off. We could see how our skin protects our bodies. So even though everybody's skin looked different up close, our skin wasn't really very different at all. Wow! Elaine learned a lot about skin, but Elmo still wants to find out more, don't you? How can we find out even more? Hmm. <laughs> Boy, Elmo almost jumped out of his skin, TV. <laughs> oh, good idea. 
we can watch the All About Skin channel on TV. Yeah, turn yourself on TV. Thank you. Welcome to the All About Skin channel. When it comes to skin, we've got you covered. And now the story of the girl who loved her skin. Once upon a time, there was a girl who loved her skin. I love my skin. <laughs> she loved it so much that she took very good care of it. When her skin got dirty, she washed it. Scrub-a-dub-dub. When her skin was out in the sun, she put sunscreen on to protect it. Rub-a-rub-rub. Huh? When her skin was cold, it got goosebumps, so she put on more clothes to warm her skin. Ah! And when her skin got hot, it sweated to help cool her off. Whoo! Ah! When she went roller skating, she protected her skin with special padding. But one day she fell down and hurt her skin anyway. Oh no! I got a boo boo on my skin! The girl's mother loved her skin, too, and knew just what to do. She washed the boo-boo, put ointment on it, and covered it up with a bandage to keep it clean. Thanks, Mom. My skin feels better already. And every day the girl's skin felt better and better, until one day the boo-boo was gone. Her skin had healed itself. Wow! Now I really, really love my skin. And from then on, the girl who loved her skin... Really, really loved. The girl who really, really loved her skin took really, really good care of it. Especially when roller skating. Hey, you gotta love the skin you're in. <sighs> I'm okay, and so is my skin. <gasps> the end. Coming up next on the All About Skin channel, that's Skin Credible, followed by Skinny the Boo and Rumble Stilt Skin. That's TV. Wow, skin is amazing. But Elmo still wants to learn even more about skin, don't you? How can we find out even more? Why don't you look in a book? Hey, yeah! Ooh, ooh. Can book help Elmo find out more about skin? Sure, I'll give you the skinny on skin. My title is, Even Animals Have Skin. Whoa, they do? Sure. Oh, oh, look! There's a puppy and a kitten. Ah. <laughs> like my title says, even animals have skin. Sometimes you can't see the skin because it's covered by fur. Oh, like Elmo. <laughs> or by feathers. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Hey, come back here. I just lost my pictures. Well, not that one. Is that a snake? Yeah. As snakes grow, they shed their skin and have new skin underneath. Uh. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, not you too. I don't believe this. Oh, what's that? A chameleon. Chameleons have skin that can change color. Uh. Don't give him any ideas. Ah, oh, <laughs> look! Dorothy's imagining Elmo as a chameleon. Sometimes a chameleon's skin changes color when its feelings change. Oh, boy. No one's around to play with. Elmo chameleon is feeling a little sad and blue. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> wow! I'm a chameleon! It's polka dotted with surprise! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> oh, for that's Lee's tickle! Yeah, I'm a chameleon! It's tickled pink! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Dorothy. And thank you, too, Book. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> no, come back! <laughs> Oh, that really gets under my skin. <laughs> oh, boy, Elmo loves skin, and so does Dorothy. That's why Dorothy wants us to sing the skin song. <laughs> oh, boy, the skin song. May I join in? Sure. You can sing, too, if you want. 
Skin, 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 Hi, book. Skin. 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 Okay, okay, Slimy, I'll read to you. Just don't say please, okay? Yay! All right, little guy. Here we go. Chapter 453 in The Adventures of Trash Gordon. Yay! When we last saw our hero, Trash Gordon, he was all tuckered out. Being a hero is hard work, and he was heroically tired. Staggering with exhaustion, he stumbled upon a lawn chair, a good book, and a cool, refreshing drink. Suddenly, our hero realized he was on planet vacation, where he could take a well-deserved rest. Putting on his sunglasses, picking up the book, and taking a cool, refreshing drink, Trash relaxingly said, Ah! Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter A and by the number 13. Oh, yuck. This chapter was way too peaceful. Oh, brother. Now, no more now, Slimy. That's all for now. It's time for you to get some shut-eye, little guy. We'll read some more trash tomorrow. Hey, are you still here? I told you, no more trash, Gordon, until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>